Year's Eve, uh, <laughs> like quarter till or 20 till, so we might do that. Um, hi, welcome to Pull It Together. I'm Molly, and this is my New Year's Eve thrift haul. Uh, I've been only going to the bins because my normal thrift store seems massively expensive now. Uh, but today I went thinking I was just going to find something to flip to start my 2019 flipping thing, whatever I'm doing. I'm doing a flipping thing with like spare change, uh, found money. And I found a dollar 61. So that basically meant I could spend a dollar 49 before tax. Um, and I thought I had 40 minutes to do it. So I was going to be really deliberate and like really... Yeah, I got inside and I had an hour and 40 minutes, so I said fuck it and did, you know, just regular old shopping. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> happy new year. Uh, I'll start with this big item. Uh, this is a Twiggy London. <laughs> um, Twiggy London suede sort of military jacket. Uh, it feels pretty new and it's really cute. I think comps, I looked up comps on like five things. Uh, this was one of them and I think they were like 30 to 50. So that's a pretty good one. Uh, Banana Republic shoes, they're size seven. They're in okay shape. Um, I just thought they were really cute. I'm a sucker for that. Taos. It's a pretty good brand. Um, I have a couple of things that I haven't listed yet and the comps all look really good. These need some cleaning up, but they're very cute. Uh, Sam Edelman flip-flops, pony hair, leopard. They're okay. Again, this person, whatever. Take your labels off your shoes, y'all. Uh, this is the BOC. I guess that's born. Yeah. Born concept. I just like, ugly green things a lot and ugly yellow things probably even more these aren't in great shape but they look like they might fit me <laughs> uh these also are in terrible shape oh everything here costs 98 dollars uh these are in terrible shape but they were rebecca minkoff uh pony hair leopard slip-ons for a dollar 99 so I honestly didn't care what they looked like because they might fit me too. Um, oh, and these slippers that I'm keeping because a moth attacks them and they already have my dog hair all over them. Gross. Uh, I don't know how to say this brand. Satori San? Satori San? It is from Vietnam. Um, I picked them up honestly because of the tongue. I just felt like that's cute. Like that's a detail that is on a nice shoe. Uh, so I just grabbed them because they were $4.99 and cute. These, honestly, I bought these terrible uh, <laughs> Air Jordans. They're in terrible condition. Um, because I saw two pairs of Jordans at the Casey Ben Kansas City Benz, and I just I just don't really mess around with Nikes, so I left them, and they were both probably really good, and I regretted it. So these two ninety eight terrible condition pink Jordans are my penance, I guess. I'm gonna clean them up, see what I can do. A lot of this stuff was probably really bad buys. Uh, I went in with that one goal that I obviously did not accomplish. Uh, but my other goal was to not check comps, to grab what I liked, and to just, you know, make mistakes. And also, I always try to grab something that, like, I can clean up and test, like, what it might be like on a more profitable shoe, where I can just, you know, like, oh, three dollars. I can definitely get ten dollars out of these after I clean them. But it's more the practice of cleaning them than the like getting the ten dollars. Does that make sense? I don't want to ruin a hundred dollar pair of shoes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, these are those like uh, tire track 
sandal tire track tire recycled tire treads i don't know they're eco something eco vision these are almost new if not new and really cute good size 11 sells pretty well for me i think um these little lucky flats again these aren't in like super great or bad shape there's not a lot of wear but they could use a cleanup um it's just so much easier for me to list shoes than clothes right now that I'm kind of transitioning into more shoes than I would normally buy. <laughs> That's a lot of shoes. Uh, okay. <laughs> These are some reef, I don't know if it reads, but uh, they're kind of glittery canvas with a brown tan canvas slip on. They've got that crazy comfy looking uh, insole. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, okay, here's a bunch of stuff that like, why did I buy that? Because somebody who flew to China a lot donated all their stuff and I wanted to buy some of it. Uh, this is a little China Airlines children's backpack. Uh, a couple of things that I grabbed. Wait, this. Yeah. This is also from China Airlines, and it used to be packed with goodies. It was for first class people because this I did look up. Um, I bought it because it's hard shell, and my kid always needs like electronics protection. Um, so I grabbed it because it was half off of $2.99. Uh, and when I looked that up, I realized like these are all first class China Airlines things um and this used to have a bunch of stuff in it but my kid's getting it so whatever i don't know if that's valuable but it's adorable uh this is for me because i love round cases shiseido uh, <laughs> this is not for me because i don't really need that but i feel like it was like a giveaway with um i don't know what crafter's choice was but it's really cute and crafty vintage <sighs> this is from 1993. It is a little suction cup thingy. I haven't looked up comps on that either, but I will pretty much always buy vintage baseball stuff if it strikes my fancy and it's not the Cardinals. Someday there's going to be an item of St. Louis Cardinals gear that I cannot pass up. I hope it's not this year. <laughs> okay. Um, I grabbed a lot of stuff for like just freebie things to throw in when I sell stuff. Again, I don't sell a lot of Nike, but if I sell something athletic, I might just toss that in. Uh, this is a Zelda. I think it's for a, what are those called? DS, Nintendo DS case. Um, pretty cute. I don't think it's super valuable, but again, I love hard shell things. Uh, this is a pretty, it's not dirty. I would say it's dingy. There's not a lot of wear to it, but it's a Vera Bradley like wallet thing. It was $2.99. I'm just going to throw it in the wash to see what happens. I don't buy a lot of Vera Bradley. Um, I don't love it. It just looks really generic to me. It's not my style. I don't know what this is either. I don't know if this is where you put an ID or a photo of your true love or what's going on here. Um, again, I just liked this. It has a code. It's probably from like Sephora. I don't know. My dog, I thought that this might help my dog, like all the action. He's been very depressed. We came home from Missouri and we were there for about nine days and he was with six other dogs on the farm where he could run free. And my son was there and a bunch of other people and he was never alone. And we got home today and my kiddo went to his dad's and the dog spent all day under the bed. So I thought maybe a thrift haul video would cheer him up. Oh Lord y'all, 14 minutes to the new year. Uh, this again, these are kind of hit or miss. I don't buy it, but I kind of know of the brand. I don't know if it's goo ouch or gooch, whatever it is. Um, I'm honestly just a sucker for funny labels. So if I kind of like the shirt or kind of don't hate the shirt and I love the label, I'm probably going to grab it. And it was $2.99, which 
way more than I would normally spend on a men's shirt, but whatever. Uh, I was just really willy-nilly today. Because I thought I had 40 minutes to spend $1.60, and then I changed my mind and just threw stuff in my cart like it was the bins. This is a black diamond bullet backpack. Um, I only know this black diamond brand because I found a pair of women's pants and I looked it up. The pants aren't that great. Um, I do have them listed and I got a pretty low ball offer on them. But the gear from Black Diamond is like legit, you know, athletic climbing, uh, skiing stuff. Uh, so this backpack is in great shape. It's a little bullet. It's really cute. I like it. I think it's, I don't know how many liters is it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay. That, how much was that? $5.99. Um, I think I did look up some comps. They were sort of all over the place. The bigger backpacks, you could still get like $180 for it. I didn't really check into that one hardcore yet. Hi, Brando. Hi. Hmm. He's gone again. Uh, this is a little pencil case. I don't know who it's by, where it's from. Um, it's got an extra pocket and pin slots and then a zipper case and then it all snaps together. And I am a firm believer that uh, small travel accessories and office supplies can improve your life drastically. Even just collecting them. Um, I have two of sort of the same item here. One was $1.50 and one was $1.99. They're both vintage. They might be handmade. I don't think this one's handmade, actually. I, I don't know. They might be handmade. They're like jewelry, travel jewelry pouches. This one's like, you know, good looking. And this one is just like very twee and um, precious. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. I think I bought this because somebody put like vinyl lining in the quilting and I just, when I see stuff like that, even though I'm not at the bins and honestly, I haven't been to this thrift store in more than a month, if not two months. And I saw some of the same crap there at the same price that I saw the last time and the time before that and the time before that because I was like, oh, I should get that. Uh, no, I'm not for whatever reason. And it's still sitting there. So the urgency that I feel about saving things is not real there because it'll sit around until somebody wants it. <sighs> Rant over. The bins though, I feel like, huh, I have to help the things. That's not real. Uh, I don't know this brand field field line. I have a feeling that this is part of another thing because it's got this little clip-in circular thing, but it's in like new condition. Um, it's definitely like for a hunter or whatnot. Um, and I'm a sucker for camo and small travel type bags. How much was that? Probably way more than I should have spent. No, it was $2.99. I think I'm fine. Um, this is not super valuable or like saleable, but it's just something that I was not going to leave there, especially for $2.50. It's a Tiger Sport Pack. Um, what is that called? Vacuum Thermos? I don't know. It's not gross. I can tell you that much. Um, I didn't see, I did look this up already. Oh, it's like, you can, you know. Yeah, that's why it's a vacuum thing. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. I'm not an idiot. I'm a smart lady. Um, anyway, I just, it's adorable. Whatever. Um, these are, this is another little thing to throw in with somebody. Sometimes I also just need, like, a container 
and I thought that was a cute little floral print. Um, the Estee Lauder, or not Estee Lauder, this is Estee Lauder, but like the makeup giveaway bags that just literally have never been used and you can pick up for pretty cheap. This was a dollar. Sometimes they get them for like 30 cents or whatever, or at the bins even less. Um, if they're brand new, it's kind of nice to like tuck people's stuff in there and maybe they'll just pass it on or donate it or whatever, but it's easier than gift wrapping or whatever. Um, this is from Old Navy, but it's real leather and it's real cute and it has a little inside zipper pocket and then a zip top and then this most absurd open flap pocket that honestly makes me a little bit angry, but it was $2 and it's leather. It's cute. It's yellow. I'm sure it'll sell. Uh, okay. <laughs> I want to leave this terrible bag for the end. This is just a Mickey Mouse Subway lunch pouch. Um, I think I thought this like punk mouse was really funny, so I grabbed it. And it was also 79 cents, which not worth it. Whatever. Um, John Sweat Cheerleading bag. It's vintage. I'm almost positive because it's made in the USA. Um, it's in good shape. It's in way better shape than my high school gym bags or varsity, I guess. Um, I'm just like a sucker for athletic bags, especially vintage ones, especially with screen printing, especially made in the USA. Is it the new year yet? <sighs> Seven minutes left. I'm going to go really fast so I can like call my mom or do something. This is probably for me because I'm always losing mine. It's just a like delicate laundry bag. It's from Real Simple though, so you know it's good. And also, I think that, yeah, this has some sort of little snapping system where, yeah, it stays close, which is super cool. Super cool. I just realized I didn't tell you all the brands of the shoes, but I don't think it really matters. There wasn't anything spectacular. Uh, this is a really cute vintage scarf. I think it's silk, and I think it is... Yeah, I think it's Glintex. I just got a little Glintex scarf on it the other day. Um, that's another thing. Ugh, gosh. I paid a dollar nine for this, you guys. At the bins, it would have cost... Five cents. That's not accurate. Um, but it's cute. It's whatever. Those are other things that like, there's some weirdness on this. Um, you can wrap a scarf around a handbag or whatever. They're just kind of handy to have and they're cheap and people can pass them along. And like tissue paper, which I totally use and poly mailers, which I totally use. Um, this is also not valuable, really, but it is an Anika Dion, <laughs> and I just thought it was fun. It's bringing, you can tell, like, I have issues with things looking nice together. <laughs> like, oh, I got rainbow shoes today, or whatever. Um, oh, one more scarf. This one's my favorite, even though it's kind of got a little bit of hole and damage in it. I just think it's a really cute print. Um, I think this one was made in Japan. I didn't see the tag this time around. Anyway, just one of those cheapies. This is pretty awesome. This is from the Strand Bookstore in New York City. It's a super cute little print. That is exactly what you feel like in the Strand. Way more shelves in your way. It's cute. My mom already picked that out. Uh, this is another little scarf. This one though I grabbed. This would have been my flip item and this might be my flip item. I'm gonna call this my flip item. It was a dollar nine. If I have anything here that costs less than 30 cents, I'll include it. But my dollar sixty one of found money from like handbags and honestly like the floor and desk or whatever um, is applied to this Bowden scarf. Check. It's a 
we'll see how that does. Uh -huh. This was $1.99. I don't know a whole lot about it, but it is from Scotland. From, is it, do you say McLe McLeod? McLeod? Whatever. Of Harris wool woven in Scotland. And then I think sold in Germany. And the reason I got it was A, I'm a sucker for plaid, and I had to leave all the vintage polo behind today because it was all in terrible condition and I am not even picky when it comes to polo and condition. I'm a little picky, but not that picky. Like I'll just love it. I didn't get any, but I got this, which was a very similar plaid to the polo tie that I had to put back. And also it has a little, you know, woven unfinished edge, which is adorable. We have three minutes. I'm going to go so fast. Okay. Uh, this is literally the last item. God, I'm fucking good. This is a terrible, terrible condition. I mean, not the worst condition bag I've ever seen, but this is like an old coach bag. It's neoprene, which honestly does not age that well. So it's done pretty well. Um, there's like some scuffing, scraping, pilling, whatever neoprene does, um, <clears throat> on the back. And the inside is really dirty. However, this bag was $7.99, which is way more than I would normally pay for a crappy condition coach bag. But the price tag was attached to these <laughs> little lime green, um, whatever, keychain. What do they call those? Little leather tags. And those I can get at least 10 or 15 bucks out of because people be crazy. So the bag, I might get like $10 or I don't know. I don't know what you'd be willing to pay for that. But this is valuable. All right, you guys. Um, it's two minutes till the new year. I hope you have a wonderful evening. I hope you're doing exactly what you want to do. I am doing exactly what I want to do. And I'm going to call my mom. Happy new year. And I will see you guys soon.